Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this week's video, I thought I'd do a get ready with me. So as you might be able to tell, I'm barefaced and my hair isn't done. Um, and that's for a reason. I don't have a huge selection of makeup products, but I just wanted to show you what I use on my face and how I do my hair. Before we get started, it would mean the world to me if you liked and subscribed to the video. I post videos every Sunday. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, as a base, I kind of just use the cream and I use the Luminae Nordic Hydra Hydration Recharge Overnight Cream. Actually, it's meant to uh, be used overnight, but I just wear it underneath my makeup and it works really nicely. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna apply the cream to my face. Just to let you know, I've got like a mirror next to me just that I see what I'm doing. So if I uh, keep looking over there, it's because of that, just so you know. I kind of just apply it like that, uh, dotted around my face. I know it's not um, too pretty, but I just massage it into my skin just for a little bit of hydration and to like make the makeup that I apply look a little bit more smooth on top. I find that really helps make it look a little bit more natural as if it's your skin and not uh, like a thick layer of makeup. So yeah, just massage it in. Okay, the next product I'm gonna be using is a makeup. And I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. It has SPF 10, which is really nice because it keeps your skin a little bit protected from sunlight. And I've got the color 1N2 Ecro. Ecro. I'm gonna leave the uh, name, the exact um, shade I use in the info box because <laughs> I'm guessing I'm not saying it right. But I really like the makeup. I've got quite yellowish skin. It's not a perfect match, the color for me, but it's really nice. It, it looks nice on your skin. Um, it covers everything you wanna cover. You can layer it if you want to and I'm just gonna use it. Yeah, so as you can see, I just have a little bit of it on my hand and I'm just gonna apply it. Like, as I did with the cream, I'm just gonna dot it around my face and I'm just gonna massage it in and try to get an even coat. So that's just what I'm doing. Okay, and whatever makeup I've got left, I'm just gonna take down like my jaw and my neck. Okay, so with my makeup done, next thing I'm doing is um, using some powder to set everything in place. And I'm using the By Terry Hyaluronic Pressed Hydra Powder in the shade Zero, and it's colorless. And I really like it. It really gives you a very flawless finish. I don't want to look as if I'm wearing a lot of makeup, so that's perfect. And it keeps uh, the shine away for quite a while. So you're not gonna look shiny for a few hours and you're not gonna look cakey, which is also very important. So yeah, that's, that's the powder I'm using. Okay, and with it, I'm gonna use this brush. It's from It Cosmetics. It's really nice, it's actually a foundation brush and I bought it to be a foundation brush but I'm using it for powder currently because I'm not, I don't have a powder brush right now. Um, but it's quite nice, it does the job for powder as well. And it's quite dense but it feels really nice on the skin and what's really nice is you also have a second end to it. So there's a second brush uh, which you can apply your concealer with if you use concealer, I don't. I don't have dark circles too much, so the foundation covers it quite nicely. But if you're using concealer, that's a great brush for your foundation and concealer. But as I said, I'm going to use it for my powder. So I'm just going to apply it like everywhere because I've got really oily skin. And I like it to be quite matte because during the day, I'm going to get like a natural shine or glow anyways. Um, so I just like to apply it everywhere and 
in half an hour or something like that, there's, I'm going to have like a very, very slightly natural glow just because I've got really oily skin. Okay, so what's left is my eyelashes and my lips. And my eyelashes, I'm just going to use um, from Maybelline New York, the Rocket Volume Express Mascara. It's quite an old one. I've had it for a few years. It's doing its job. I don't like when um, your lashes are like lumped together and I've got very dark lashes anyways so I'm just using it for a little bit of length for a little bit of lifting my uh, eyelashes so and it really does the job And that's my eyelashes done. I'm not going to do anything to my brows because I've got quite dark brows anyways. I like the look having them a little bit more natural. I don't have to pencil them in so I'm just going to leave them as they are. So the last step is my lips. I don't wear like a lot of lipsticks. I just like them to be a little bit hydrated and add a little bit of shine. So I'm going to use the Burt's Berry Honey Mill moisturizing lip balm i really like it tastes like honey i love honey so i'm just gonna apply this to my lips so and that's basically my makeup done that's the finished makeup look very natural very simple i'm done in five minutes great if you just uh, want to leave the house very quickly in the morning so that's my very quick and easy makeup routine all right, so my hair. I like to curl my hair. I think it looks very nice at that length. I just brush them beforehand and uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> do that very quickly. Okay, and what I do is I um, take like part of my hair up just so I can um, reach the lower part of my hair just gonna use a hair tie that's gonna look very pretty um, just that bobble on my head but never mind I'm not gonna use a curling one I'm using a straightener to get my hair the way I want it to look so yeah I just go ahead and start curling and I'm moving quite slowly I'm kind of just curling it with my finger I don't want to have like curls that are too strong. I probably just want them to be a little bit more wavy. That's that's a better word for it. And when I'm done, I'm just placing them at the back. Get a new strand of hair and gonna start doing the same thing. What I like to do is curl the hair strands into different directions so that it doesn't look too cohesive or a little bit more natural and not as if I sat down with a curling iron and did every single strand of hair the same way. So as you can see I'm actually quite messy when doing that but that's what i like i like it a little bit more messy looking and not too polished so that's one side done okay so that's the lower part of my hair done and um, i'm just gonna get another hair tie and like tie the bottom part of my hair just so it doesn't get in the way and I'm gonna get the top part and just continue curling the rest of my hair
Okay, and that's basically my hair done. What I like to do is just go through it, like fluff it a little bit, just to make it even looser and a bit more messy looking. And that's it, that's, that's my hair done. Okay, so the last thing I'm doing before I'm ready is uh, putting on some jewelry because I think an outfit isn't complete without wearing some jewelry. And I've got um, a little ring that I love and that I wear basically daily. It looks like a coin, um, but it's very dainty and very small. And that's what I prefer at the moment. Um, when I'm wearing jewelry, I prefer it to be very dainty and very delicate. Yes. The next thing I'm doing is putting on some earrings. I love wearing hoops. So that's basically what I'm wearing every day. I have other earrings, but I kind of prefer them. I, I don't really need a lot of earrings because I'm basically wearing the same earrings every single day. And I've got three holes on my left side and I've got two holes on my right side. I'm thinking about getting a few more because I love earrings. It's my favorite kind of jewelry to wear. Um, I just feel so much better when wearing them. Uh, so I'm actually thinking about getting a few more holes, but I don't know when that's gonna happen. My ears don't really like to be pierced, but I like them to be pierced, so it's probably gonna happen in, in the future. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this week's video and that you uh, liked seeing how I get ready in the morning. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're gonna have an amazing week and thank you and goodbye.